Do you hate being deeply depressed? If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you're having doubts, look at all these happy customers. There have been many GTA players that I've had multiple encounters with in the past, but none of them have been as diverse as my experiences fighting this player, Rafek131. The story begins in May 2020. I'd never met Rafek before, and little did I know this would be the first encounter upon many. Rafek was getting accused of modding in game chat, and of course me being me, I had to go over and check it out. Now what started off as a fairly normal fight with me and him just trading shots, trading kills, he quickly got to a point where he wasn't happy with what was going on and the fight started to become unfair at my expense. Rafek didn't like the fact that I used a rocket at this point and also didn't like the fact that I would use a sticky bomb to blow myself up after I got a kill. This was used to reset my health and I thought was a fair tactic. The score stayed even for a while until I started to pull away. I managed to almost double my score on him. And at this point, this is where people started to join in on the fight. It would appear that Rafek's friends had came over to help him against me, and this put me at a huge disadvantage. So what started off as a fairly fair 1v1, ended up moving into a 2v1. And this lasted for a while until another player joined in, in an off-radar chat. was already a difficult 2v1 became an even harder 3v1. And just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, a fourth player joined. After calling Rafik out for a 1v1, he declined it and eventually left the session. I came out on top in this fight, but not by much. I thought this was going to be the end, but almost a year and a half later, we encounter each other again. Now I'm using an account with a name that he wouldn't recognise, and this isn't on purpose either. I couldn't really remember what happened in our previous fight. All I knew is that I wanted to fight this guy again and see what would happen later on. After driving around, this guy eventually shoots me and starts the fight. After an anger-filled session of me getting extremely unlucky against this guy, we only exchange 5 kills each. Now this isn't the type of fight that I want. I want a more interesting fight. This is where our most recent encounter comes in. Now my last encounter with Rafik wasn't staged, wasn't scripted, I didn't force this encounter. I pressed find new session and I managed to get in the same session as him, as you can see. Bro, I've just... What? I've just managed to get into this guy's session again. Bro, I was literally about to release that video as well. I, you can't make this shit up. What the fuck? After having two bad experiences fighting Rafek, I wanted to make sure that this fight was different. I noticed that if Rafek had the upper hand advantage, he would not be aggressive at all. He would want me to make all the moves. To counter this, I wanted to make sure that I got the first few kills and I had the upper hand at the start of the fight. This would mean that for him to get any kills, he would have to be the aggressor, which he hadn't played yet. After Rockstar finally lets my jet spawn in, I decide to use that to get the first kill. I 
Okay, so if anyone doesn't know, uh, this Raphael Wolfie the Wrong guy, I literally just edited the video for it. Oh my god, it doesn't last. I edited the video for it yesterday. And I was just about to post it today. Like that. Time to fight him on ground. Which definitely wasn't my plan, I'm just shit at flying. Let's see what he does now. No! It's got to have a roof or something. This one will do just nicely. Idiot. 4-0. Lamar, come on, be my mate. Oh shit, the cavalry on the way, homie. This fool won't even know what hit. Oh, so this guy is on the building somehow. You're joking, mate. I then decided to drive away to see if he would chase me to see if he wanted to continue with the fight because some people, they don't want to fight, they're just trying to defend themselves. So me driving away, just put that to the test. And this way, I'm also kind of not griefing him. It's his own choice to come back. Bro, this car, what the fuck? What's happened to it? My guy's got god aim. This guy's too smart, man. Idiot. See, this is what happens when I don't like let him get the upper hand. I just, I just, I just play so I win. Oh my god, I literally can't even see him. This guy's getting shafted. He's actually getting shafted. Fool. You can't touch me. I'm literally untouchable right now. He totally doesn't use explosive much because. Anyone that uses explosives knows that that's way too far. It's a shame for him because he doesn't have the new sniper, I don't think, and he's still got the old one. So he's literally just getting fucked because I can one shot him without BST. And he's not the type of player to use BST because he's like weird, but dirty. But I don't know. He's, he's a weird player. Trying to shoot. Him. Fuck off. Trying to shoot him through the gap in the cars. But this is literally impossible because they just keep crashing into each other.
this one hurt yet. Twenty one to seven. See you then, uh, he's just quite predictable with his movement, he was going left and then right and then left and then right. Wasn't being unpredictable, so it was quite easy to sign that headshot, just in case anyone wanted to know how I just did it. Waiting to go back in, straight back in even. That's what I'll time it. Ah. So it took me a few tries. I think if I was more, if I play this game, more. I don't want to try to say I don't play this game like, at all. So, oh, I don't really play this game that much. But if I played it like 24 or 7, I reckon I'll be able to get that down to a T. It'll probably take me only one try to time that shot. So what I'm waffling on about here is basically you pick up on strafing patterns. And you got to try and learn them and learn which part of the strafe is easier to hit. And then when you get to that part of the strafe, you just hopefully hit it. You'll see it later on. To left, there we go. Too quick with that. I then tell him that he can use the new heavy sniper, the Mark II, to get a one shot, one kill. See if he's interested in that. He says he doesn't have the facilities for that. So I tell him we should probably save up. And he basically says he doesn't really care about one shot, he wants to play his own way. It's a shame. Oh, left. First shot. I'm over fighting my friend on Xbox 360 around here. Right here. And he passive popped on me. And he thought he was better than me. I then changed back to a Mark 1 sniper rifle because I want to play fair. I mean, this guy's he's giving me a good fight. Yeah, uh, he's playing respectfully, so I might. I'm gonna be nice back. Yes, there we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, there's no way doing that. No. This is 
so it's really actually really difficult to see. I hate the snow a lot. Then can't lie, this fight started to get a little bit boring, even though it was really good practice. We actually was quite fair and did the type of fight that I like, but I couldn't keep doing this forever. Also a lot of random people would get into this area of the map and uh, it started to get a little bit hectic, so I just thought, you know what, it's probably a good time to end. So in the end, there's a happy ending. We ended up with a clean, fair fight that I came out fair and square on top. I hope you enjoyed this video. I put quite a lot of effort into it, so if you liked it, drop a like. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.